Hey, you want to meet a few Bronco players? Now's your chance. It's the drive for life that's saving lives a mile high. And with the pulse on all that's taking place, Diana Hemphill and Dr. Bernadette West. It's nice to see you ladies. Thank you for having us. Both Thank look you. gorgeous. So let's talk about the drive for life. How can people participate? It's really easy. All you need to do is come out next Tuesday, October 22nd from 8 to 2 at Sports Authority Field at Mile High and you enter through um, gate 2. Okay. And then you come up to the club level and we take the rest from there. And there are going to be Bronco players there, so is it okay to bring kids? Definitely. We, it's a um, family event. We encourage you to bring everyone. And while you're actually going through the donation process, we have childcare available. And then you can take okay. your kiddos over and meet the Broncos who come to um, sign autographs and also the cheerleaders and Miles the mascot will be there. Oh, fun. Yeah. Well, okay, so what's the process like when we come to donate? What do we go through? You go through gate two and you'll come up and you go up to the club level and then you go through through kind of a mini health physical we ask you a couple questions and then you kind of mosey your way over to the east side of club level and you do the actual donation process then you're done and you get to enjoy all the fun stuff you get a goodie bag you get a free stadium meal and you get to um, meet and greet and get autographs from several broncos players cheerleaders and like i said miles the mascot and you mentioned the goodie bag yes. what's in the goodie bag well this year we are giving away these amazing t-shirts i think they're pretty cool looking yeah. and you get a lapel pin very nice. And um, you also get a snack bag that has snacks because once you donate, we want you to definitely rehydrate and right. keep well nourished. And then, like I said, you get a free seating meal, a hot dog or a hamburger. So fun. And you yeah. can meet the Broncos. It's you can really show fun. some Colorado Bronco spirit. Yes. Dr. West, how is the blood used? Blood is used across the city and state for a variety of reasons every day. For example, there are patients who have anemia, who need treatment. Um, there are patients undergoing surgery or who undergo cancer therapies mm -hmm. and these people need blood donations in order to survive. It's important to know your blood type, right? It's a great piece of information if you know your blood type. Uh, if you are a blood donor, that's part of the process. You will be able to find out your blood type and you will also be able to better respond when Bonfis puts out an appeal for a certain type of blood. Okay, talking about certain types of blood, O negative, that's a, a pretty important type of blood, right? Yes, O negative is a, a unique type of blood and we're always trying to collect O negative blood and this is because this is the blood type that can go to anybody and it is often used first in an emergency until the patient's blood type can be um, determined. Typed. Yes. So it doesn't matter what type they have, O negative is going to work for all. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, that's pretty impressive. That's wonderful. You also say it's important to donate on a continual basis. Yes, because most of our blood is used for uh, people with routine needs for blood. Uh, we need to continuously replenish that blood supply and that is why we appreciate our donors coming in on a regular basis as they are able to replenish that supply. How long does the blood last? That's a great question. Blood has uh, different shelf lives depending on which product it is. Red cells can last up to 42 days but platelets mm -hmm. can only last five days and so that's especially important for for platelet donors to come in as regularly as they can. So any special requirements if I'm going to donate like the day before I head out there? Well, I would encourage you to hydrate, yep. um, to eat well, and uh, mostly to hydrate, to drink a lot of fluids. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, just take good care of yourself. Exactly. Right. And a donation should go just fine. And quickly, we have about 30 seconds left. So tell me about the Bonfice Foundation. If you're not able to give blood that day, but next Tuesday, and you still want to come to Drive for Life, we are accepting financial contributions because the foundation helps to our blood center to run. Oh, God. So reach out yes. and do it. Thank you, ladies, very much for giving Thank us you. the details. You. you can join Bonfi's Sweet 16 celebration by giving blood and meet Bronco players that drive for life. Now, you can also be helping support Colorado's blood supply for patients in need. It all takes place on Tuesday, October 22nd, and that's from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Sports Authority Field a Mile High. Learn so much more at bonfees.org. That's bonfees.org, or you can call 303 363